Hello everybody! Welcome to Summer Storytime with me, Paul and Chip. Hello Chip. Yes, it is a nice day, isn't it? Very sunny today, very hot and sunny outside. Right, hello to everybody there. So what should we do today? Should we do a high five? Or uh, another fist bump? Fist bump with everybody who's listening at home. Hello. What's our story today? Shall we have a look? This story is Always Near Me by Susie Paul. Shall we have a look? Yes, I know. But that's just the front. We need to look inside the book. You like the crab? Yeah, I know. I think we'll see a crab later. You tell me if you see a crab later. Right. Jesus, you know me so well, you see my heart. No, he doesn't mean he sees inside, though he does see inside of us. He thinks, you know what you are loving about. Yes. You know when I sit down. You know when I stand up. Yes. So the girl is sitting down on the rock and the boy is standing up and Jesus and God is looking at both of them and they are having a really good time in the sea. She's found a starfish and he's got his fishing net and there are two seagulls watching as well. I think God's watching out for the seagulls as well. Any, any crabs? No, no crab. You know my thoughts before I think them. Yes. I think I know what that girl's thinking. She is thinking, I would like an ice cream. So God knows what you're thinking. Yes, he does. And you're thinking about ice cream as well, aren't you? Yes, I can tell. What do you think about? Do you think about nice things to eat? Yes? Oh, ice cream. Uh, what about, what about a nice apple? Oh, some nice raisins. Those are nice things to eat, aren't they? Yes. Before I go to where, before I get to where I'm going, you know where I will end up. So Jesus knows where we're going. Does the girl know where she's going? No, why not? Oh, she's got a blindfold on, so she can't see. I think they're playing a game. I think the other children will make sure she doesn't get into trouble. It looks like a party, doesn't it, with balloons? Just like the wind, you were all around me. This is very hard to understand. Can you listen to the wind? Wow. So just like God is all around. Just like the wind blowing through. We can't see God, but we can see what the wind is doing, can't we? We can see the trees moving. And we can see a kite flying in the sky, even though we can't see the wind. This is very hard to understand, isn't it? Are you okay with this? Should we just go on to something else? Yeah, all right. Where can I hide from you? If I journey into space, you are there. You mean, if I go right up, 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 up into the highest of the skies in a rocket, God would still be there with me. If I went all the way to the moon, God would still be there with me. Wow, that is amazing. But what happens if I go right down to the bottom of the sea? You will find me there too. So if I went fishing, swimming with all of the fish and the, is that a whale? And the dolphins and the striped fish and an octopus. 
an octopus. God would be right there, right in the middle of the ocean. Is that means that God is always with us? Wow. But what are out? Not even the darkness can hide me. To you, daytime and nighttime are just the same. So what's she doing? Oh, she's reading a book at night time, so she's hiding under the covers with her torch and she's reading a story about a fox. And even if she's in the darkest of nights, God is still with us. You made every part of me and watched as I grew in my mummy's tummy. Does that mean before she, you were even born, God knew who you were? Oh, you are special to God, aren't you? Look, that lady, I think that's her mummy, his mummy. She's going to have a baby. Look, there's the baby that's been born now. You are special to God. Before the world was made, you decided how I would look. God knew. How you would look when you were all dressed up with your nice hair and feet and clothes and hands. God knows all about you and how you will grow up. I am made in a wonderful and amazing way. I jump for joy because of what you have done. Everybody looks very happy in this picture. There, one, two, three, Four, five children! Oh, and the dog are all jumping for joy! And at the end of the day, I think it's time for her to go to sleep. You will always watch over me. Each day I live is written in your book. God, you are always near me. That was a good story, wasn't it? A good book about how God is always with us, no matter where we are, no matter where we are, whether it's darkness or right up into space or swimming in the sea, God is always with us. Anyway, time to say goodbye. Goodbye. See you. I'll see you again another time on another story time. Bye. Say goodbye, Chip. Bye. Bye.